who is hoping to take those titles away from Teofimo Lopez on June 5th. George, you live in Australia. They are buzzing for this fight. You know Australian boxing history, the likes of Kostya Zhu, Jeff Fennick. In your mind, does a win over Teofimo Lopez on June 5th make you the greatest Australian boxer of all time? Yeah, definitely. This will pull me to the greatest ever in Australian boxing. But, um, you know, whatever comes after that, you know, is, is to come. Now, my focus is beating this kid and taking his belts. I'm a little bit upset because he didn't bring all the other belts too. Because this is the closest more. you're going to get to these. Yeah, well, you should have brought them all, man. I had to bring because the IBF because you got I'm a lucky take them all. Huh? I'm going to take them all off you. <laughs> I, keep I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, Teofimo, there's some animosity, obviously, between you and George. Where does that stem from? Is it just two prize fighters who want to go ahead and compete for this amazing, the, the gold and everything else? Or is there actual dislike between you two? Okay. Uh, honestly, I, what I would like to say is first, thank God for, for being here. And I want to thank uh, Triller. I want to thank Fight Club. And I just want to thank everyone that's here today. Uh, going back to that, honestly, um, how I look at it is like this, man. This is someone that's in front of me to get, and he's in my way at the moment. And I got to just knock him. I got to move him to the side and just keep moving forward to, to the next guys that everybody wants to see me fight next. Teofimo, you're fighting here on Triller Fight Club. We are very happy to have you and George as well. But how did you end up here? You know something? Revenge is a dish best served cold. Okay. So you want to uh, further explain that? I think my guys on the other side, I think they know what I mean. Okay. Now, George, when it comes to Teofimo Lopez. Your other guys don't respect you. Your other guys don't respect you. But you Say know what? Again? Trula came and respected you. They put up the money. That's what you're talking about. Just well, yeah, tell everyone about your promoter, not giving the respect. It's not really the promoter's so, talk. It's more so of right now we have a hell of a platform. Triller. They're doing a hell of a job and they know what they're doing and they know what they're bringing to the table. It's a whole new, um, it's a whole new era for the, for the modern day of boxing. So I think this is a great thing for, for all of us. And more so, I think that it is great for boxing. Now, for you, George, when Teofimo Lopez in the lead up to this fight... We have heard reports and we've seen that they have commented that they're going to finish you the third round or before. His father has gone ahead and said that he, you remind him of Diego Magdaleno. And a couple years ago, Teofimo went out and finished off Magdaleno in a spectacular seventh round knockout. How do you take to those comments that they feel they're going to finish you early? Look, I've heard a lot of things from him, you know, and at the end of the day, Suppose this is an easy fight for him, but they just brought in a defensive coach. So which one is it? Is it an easy fight? You're so off. But you brought in a defensive coach. Sorry, so man. It, it, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's sad because they had a guy in their, in their team that done everything for him, that set everything up for him. They had all the game plans and they just brushed him to the side. I'm loyal. I got my team. I know what I'm about. And if they think it's going to be three, no problem. Prepare for three. But I'm prepared for every single round. So, Teofimo, why did you guys and why do you have in your mind that, that number? Because, you know, we hear about I'm going to knock him out, but you are being as going as far as to say third round or before. You and your father have been a winning combination, fighter of the year. The goal speaks for itself. But why do you feel so strongly that you can finish off George Cambosis on June 5th on Triangular Fight Club pay-per-view before the third? I'm not at my prime yet. However, I got to make a statement. You know what I mean? I have to make a statement just like he is and what he's going to bring to the table come fight night. I've been in the big leagues. I've been in the guys that, that have the experience, the amount of work. But this, at the end of the day, I don't overlook nobody that I face. You know what I mean? Whether he wants to stay defensive coach, I've been, <laughs> you know what I mean? All that we could push to the side. Me and my father, dynamic duo. About 20 years in the game together. You know, and I'm 23. So me and him, we got, we got everything. We don't need nobody else. We only bring others just because, you know what, at the end of the day, coach needs it too. He needs help. He needs help with, with my power. It's too strong. But at the end of the day, look, 
I'm only getting better. The Lomachenko fight helped me. It helped me a lot. Now I have more things that I could put into my arsenal, into my style that this guy's not even going to see. He's not even going to know what hit him. And I'm going to tell you that straight up. You talk about me being chinny. You don't even know what's coming. You say I got to worry about a right hand. You got to worry about all hands coming at you at you, all you times. Think, you think it's just the right hand. I'm telling that's, you. It's that's your dude. downfall. It's, it's a whole that's bunch of things. That's your downfall. My guy, I could do it. Bring I can break whatever. it down right now. Hey, and, and bring you're lucky whatever not you got to the table. Lucky, I can fight tomorrow. We'll you're, right lucky right we're not, right you're lucky we're not oh, fighting hey, today. We'll right because now. in reality, I'll put you yeah. in a fucking stretch. Yeah, you wouldn't even make white. You wouldn't even make white, boy. Look at you. Oh, hey, got yeah. gentlemen, gentlemen, listen, like, listen, let, listen. Come on, man. I can't make that party. Party. You yeah, got, you guys know. can fight June fifth. June fifth. June fifth. Hey, gentlemen, get it off. Let's, can't let's get. No, no, no. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, come on, 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 come on. Come on, do it right. Do June fifth. You get it, June fifth. June fifth. You don't get paid to fight now. You get paid to fight June fifth. I've been. I'm gonna tell you something, my man. You get paid to fight June fifth. Fucking example of why I'm gonna put everybody on the ass. And you know what? I'm gonna put my foot up your neck, my dude. I'm taking all your belts. All right, all your belts. Yo, you should be thanking me, my guy. You should be thanking me. You should be All thanking right. me. Thank you. Jerry, you should be thanking Jerry, me. Jerry, what did you do? Jerry, what did you do? Jerry, what did you do? Right there. Hey, what did you do? My team got this far for you, boy. Hey, my team. No, you got to hold him back. I know. I know. Hold him back. We have questions from the media. We have questions. Can we have a seat, guys? The media from around the world wants to talk to you. I ain't going to touch you. What you going to do, my man? All right. June 5th. June 5th. Hey, hey. Teofimo, thank you. Let's sit down. The media has questions to ask. It's obvious you're both in impeccable shape, but. You guys don't sure? get you don't get paid to fight right now. Like I gotta tell you like this, man. That's when you get paid. Tell you like fight. this, my man. Just be there June fifth. Hey, and I'll you do missed the rest. your flight yesterday, boy. I'll so you the you be there. I will missed the, the flight to the fight. All right, yeah. rest. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. All well, it's shop. obvious that tensions are boiling over. Can you imagine what it's going to be like June fifth? Jerry Milani questions from the media.